not a spring chicken. Yes, we're out. Well, actually, we're out at the park today. But the big news today, of course, is that President Obama is going to pay for the... Well, wait, were they tax cuts? Yeah. Oh, yeah, on small businesses. How he's going to pay for it is, oh, getting rid of the tax cuts on small businesses. Yeah, I don't know how much that makes sense. Yeah, and if you're a small business, you realize how much that is. A total collapse of world markets overnight. Only the Obama jobs plan keeping the U.S. market up. I know. That, that, that's, folks, that's being facetious. The left-wing comics are even laughing at Obama and his jobs plan. It's the same thing he's been saying. That it's, it, it's his stimulus plan all done over again. Didn't even repackage the way he was saying it. Well, Except uh, it's not a stimulus plan this time. It's, it's jobs, 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 jobs. And he's focusing like a laser light on it. And Obama never misses a chance to blame Bush for all his problems. Oh yeah, they're uh, they're basically demanding Obama's speechwriter be removed because I, I mean it's basically if I had Jack in a Box Obama, I mean they said actually uh, they said Obama condemned. They said uh, they said yesterday in the speech Obama said that I regret that this individual that caused the deaths of all of these people was allowed to come to this event. You believe that? Are you serious? The Republicans are demanding his speechwriter be fired. They said the president didn't realize that he had said it until after it was said, and uh, it was too late to make up for what he'd said. But they're not going to fire the speechwriter to put on the teleprompter. Official Gaddafi son Al Sadeh flees to Nigeria. Yeah. Or Nigeria. Nigeria. That's where all of the Gaddafi people are going, is Nigeria. <laughs> the army is going to be in Nigeria. You know, ungodly amounts of weapons of mass destruction are going to be in Nigeria. You know, I mean, that was really a brilliant maneuver on Obama's part, folks. And to the surprise of no one, American troops in Libya. Isn't that amazing? Obama said there would be no troops on the ground, no boots on the ground. It seemed that there have been boots on the ground for a long time. But we need boots on the ground there to protect American interests, of which we have none in Libya. Mm -hmm. So what are they doing there? That's why everybody's asking the same question. And what the FBI's assault Solyndra raid means. It means that there are now 40 businesses that Obama went to to praise how great the stimulus program was working that now are being investigated for criminal misconduct and they all are tied to major fundraisers for the Obama administration. But they're going to tie Solyndra and the other 40 companies around Obama's neck like a millstone on the next election. And Obama appears with Bush at the 9-11 memorial. Well, actually, he's with him and not with him, because if you look on the pictures that are being put out, the pictures have basically been photoshopped, folks, that they were not together like it was, like it looked like. Oh, really? All of them? All of them. Oh. And Democrats start their Bush and the Republican awareness campaign to show that they put their party above the people. I, they, I mean, they, like I heard a guy this morning, one of the, okay, one of the Democratic pollsters said, um, the last time he heard the Republicans for people, and that the myth at the independents were people. So they're saying that Republicans, okay, if you don't support the unions, you don't support the people. The unions amount to 11% of the working population. Mm. And they pissed off, they said his campaign is designed to piss off all of the uh, independents. <laughs> I know, in Iraq, cleric to followers, stop attacking U.S. troops. Ooh, that ain't gonna happen, folks. Just, they're gonna, they're basically, just, uh, as they know that Obama is pulling out the 3,000 troops, mostly um, the 3,000 troops are gonna be more or less like a, a mic, mic operation, where they're gonna, you know, like the cavalry come to save the day, but 3,000 ain't gonna do it in Iraq, it's a big country. And longshoremen storm Washington port over labor dispute. Yeah, and Obama people said shame on them. There are, there are no people, their cameras photographed everything and they do not have those people in jail cells. Well, the unions say, well, they were outside agitators brought in by the Tea Party. Mm -hmm. That's their excuse. Outside agitators brought in by the Tea Party to give the union a bad name. Well, they're all saying, they're people that are in the union rallies at the union, at the, at the union headquarters. They have pictures of them and they're not arresting them. Seven oil workers found alive in the Gulf of Mexico. You know, it's the way the weather is. People 
sometimes people get miracles, so be happy about it. And Spartacus star Whitfield dies of lymph lymphoma at 39. I believe it was non-Hodgkin's, which means it was supposedly non-life-threatening and he still died from it. Basically, he became a star and lost his star. You know, I mean, he was a, everybody liked the guy. He had a ma great future ahead of him because they found out that he could do more than just be a, a, a surf and sand muscle-bound oaf. He was an actor. And Nero extends losses. I know, and part of it is Spartacus has been rewritten a few times, hasn't it? Yes, but it was rewritten specifically for him because they, they basically went to pre-Spartacus and then came back, and unfortunately, he, was, he they said what happened was he, he lost the bulk he had and he couldn't put the weight back on, so they had to write him out of it, not because he was dying, but because he couldn't put the weight back on. Who? And Nero extends losses and hits a 10-year trough on yen. Oh, yeah. They said the uh, Greece is today or tomorrow is getting ready to default for the third time now. And they said that Italy can't pay its bills, Spain can't pay its bills, Ireland can't pay its bills, and the companies that are all heavily invested in their bonds, which Obama and Merkel help make people do, is uh, basically their, their banks are, three of the banks have been downgraded. But here's a good one this morning. Who was it that downgraded the American economy? The gift took our four-star rating away from us. Who? It was it Standard & Poor's, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Uh, Standard & Poor's basically was split off from McGraw-Hill this morning to be a company all by itself because it will be better off if it's not connected with McGraw-Hill. Oh. Isn't that amazing? We smell Obama. And the people who run McGraw-Hill happen to be big supporters of the President of the United States. Mm -hmm. So now they're killing... Uh, standard of course. Uh huh. Yep. And um, analysis suspicion greets China's Europe expansion. Yeah, you know that's it, 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 it's just it is another thing. That this, this morning Obama pushed through a piece of legislation that basically makes it physically impossible for banks to make any loan. American banks, European banks, it makes it impossible for them to make loans. But guess who is excluded in the new legislation on stiffening up the qualifications for loan making? Oh, who would that be? Bank of America? No, they're, they're being destroyed. He's shutting them down within a week. It's the Chinese banks. Oh, really? And the Chinese banks have been excluded from the new monetary policy by Obama. Why? Uh, well, because Obama hates Americans and Merkel is German. So. Is that why J.P. Morgan says bank rules are anti-American? Yeah. Because it basically, uh, uh, the, the rules specifically are going to go to if you don't need the loan and can prove you can pay the loan back with the money you have in your pocket at the time, you now will be able to get a loan. But they, Obama said, these loans, will, this regulations will not go into effect until after the fall election. Yeah. Which is good. But here's, a, here's another one. Obama is so popular that running against Obama in areas that have never been Republican, it looks like the Democrats are going to lose emergency, emergency elections in Wiener's District, in, uh, in Massachusetts, in, you know, in, in Chicago. They're Chicago? They're all going to lose them to Tea Party members. Chicago? In, in areas that are massively Democratic and have... Two of the three have not voted, not voted a congressman in from the Republican side ever. But don't worry, Obama has figured out how to do that problem. Those three elections are suspected to go to the Republicans tomorrow. They, uh, they're going to be legislated out of existence next year. What? Yeah. Oh, they just redistrict them they're out. Gonna redistrict them. They're going to redistrict the Republicans out of their new seats so that they'll have an area that is more likely to put a Democrat in office, which they already have an area that's most likely to put a Democrat in office, and they're going to elect Republicans. And crucial, Italy austerity package enters home stretch. No, nope. they basically said it's a, uh, the unions are not going to allow it, so therefore Italy is likely to default on all the, like the 80 or 90 billion dollars they just pumped into them is all going to go down the toilet this week also. And Bartz resigns from Yahoo board. Yeah, well, basically they threw her out because they said that she had a difference of opinion between how the company was wanting to go and the way she wanted it to go. Right now they're talking about merging with a AOL said it's not happening. All the other people say it is that they're the uh, Yahoo and AOL are in a in a discussion to merge more businesses and therefore lay off about fifty percent of their employees. And poll sixty six percent think American power has declined since nine eleven. 
Yeah, because uh, basically, that it basically, the George Bush and his response, irresponsible attitude towards the Muslim world, was the result of all this happening. And a Monty bubble is from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Uh, being old means you do exactly the same thing that you were young, and actually end up with the same results, which is not good.